Everyone talks about titles, thumbnails, descriptions, keywords, and even hashtags, which we talked about last week. But I recently discovered another feature which heavily influences your video's ranking. <laughs> How's it going fellow photophiles? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. YouTube is an amazing platform and it has a very smart algorithm which discovers quality content and ranks it accordingly. But it has one major flaw. The YouTube algorithm can barely discover the contents of a video, much less its quality. So pretty much what it does is put it within a category, depending on its metadata, and then rank it within that category and search results depending on that metadata, but more importantly on how much engagement that video creates. The huge problem with that is that engagement very much depends on an established community. Which means that if two videos were created on the same topic, let's say a low quality one by a big creator and a high quality one by a small creator, the one made by the big creator is bound to do much better just because of high engagement. You see the problem? So the only thing you can do to get an edge above the big creators is use something that is not very well known. And I'm gonna help you get that edge. So what many content creators do to make sure that the contents and quality of their video can be discovered on the internet is create a blog post on their blog somewhere which contains the text content of the video itself as well as the link or an embedded video. This allows the post to rank on a search engine like Google, attracting new viewers who read the post and then see the video and then come to YouTube and potentially subscribe. And this is a very powerful feature which is still used today and which you can use but I won't be getting into detail on that right now. The good news is that YouTube has a feature like that built into its system which many people unfortunately overlook. It's called a transcript. Ta-da! When uploading your YouTube video, it usually gets automatically transcribed, which is great because less work for you, right? But that changes very quickly if maybe you don't speak very clearly, or you have a slight accent, or you speak another language altogether. Hey, выключи музыку! Then the transcript may have many mistakes and even miss out on the main keywords. And even more importantly than just making sure that your transcript contains the keywords, is that your keywords should be in the very beginning of the transcript. Of course, the YouTube algorithm is a guessing game, but many big channels suggest using your keywords in every element of the metadata and more importantly, in the beginning of each of those elements. So here's an easy step-by-step -step for your next YouTube upload. First of all, choose a number of core keywords for your video. When making the video, make sure the intro or the first three to five seconds contains those keywords and then use them in your title. Use them in the beginning of your description. Use them as your primary hashtags, the ones that appear above the title. Use them as the first tags and of course, make sure that the transcript of your video is transcribed correctly and they appear in the first sentence of the transcript. And that is your best chance to rank high on the much desired search page. Good luck with YouTube, guys. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm gonna see you guys next week.